Hello everyone, I hope your day is going great. This week I'm going to be trying healthy TikTok dessert recipes, so let's go ahead and get into it. Hello everyone, it's day one. I'm going to be trying Chloe Treka, I believe is how you pronounce her name, on TikTok. I'm going to be trying her protein puppy chow recipe. So excited for this because I love puppy chow. Now you see it all the time. It's like Muddy Buddies. It's like Muddy Buddies if you're not from the Midwest. I am, however, from the Midwest. I'm from Michigan. And I believe she is from Iowa. So anyway, let's go ahead and make protein puppy chow. I got the rice checks. I think that's what she said. Butter, chocolate chips, peanut butter, and then protein powder of choice. And I have my handy data scale here. She did not weigh this out in grams. She Use like cups, but I looked up on Google the conversions of cups to grams for all of the ingredients. So I'm going to split this recipe in half because if it's not good, I'm not going to eat the whole thing, obviously. So yeah, and I don't want to waste all these things. So a cup of chocolate chips, like I said, I'll just be doing half a cup, 64 grams. You can do coconut oil or butter. I'm doing butter, we don't have coconut oil. And a fourth cup, 28.5 grams. So it doesn't feel like a lot of butter. So since she says half cup, we'll be doing a fourth of a cup, which is 70 grams. All right, first 30 seconds done. Chocolate chips are done, as well as the butter. 15 seconds done. There we go, so I did 30 seconds, 15, then five. So I guess I'll do like, a sixth? I don't know. All right, that's 126 grams. And then I'll add a little bit of chocolate, and I'm gonna kind of shake it around to get it all mixed up. Oh, this looks so good. Ooh, can you guys see that? Oh yeah, buddy, that looks so good. And now for the protein powder part, I'm just gonna start with three scoops of protein powder. Since I'm doing half, I'll do about one and a half. Since I added chocolate protein powder, mine looks a little like this versus hers, since she added vanilla, hers looks more like puppy chow. That looks so good. All right, she says, now you just enjoy. It's actually good. They are good. I'm gonna eat all of this right now. I give it a 10 out of 10. Seriously. The bag's not very appealing. I would put it in a different bag, but like the bag has all the chocolate protein powder. So like this just adds flavor, you know? Anyway, this is 1,491 calories total and 56.1 grams of protein. That's a good start off the recipes. It's amazing. See you guys tomorrow. Don't know if we'll be able to beat this though. All right, today is very exciting. We're going to be trying protein cookie dough. And if you guys know me, my favorite thing ever is cookie dough. I love cookie dough. And it's like so high calorie, which isn't the biggest problem until you want to eat a lot of it. And then like all your calories just go to cookie dough. All right, so I got my handy dandy scale, flour, protein powder, I'm using marshmallow cereal, salt, brown sugar, white sugar, butter, and egg, chocolate chips. Also going to be like splitting this recipe in half. Let's get into it. 90 grams of regular ass white flour. He used 90, so I used 45. 65 grams of protein powder. He used 65, I used 32. Dash of salt. Just a dash, I guess. 24 grams of swerve brown sugar. Alright, 24 grams, so that means 12 grams. I don't have any like swerve or like splenda, so mine isn't zero calories, so mine's gonna be a lot higher calorie than his, but that's okay. 24 grams of whatever sweetener you want. He uses 24, so I use 12. He says 42 grams, so I do 21. He has light butter, I don't. And mine will be a little more calorie. He says two eggs, so I do one. Little bit of vanilla. Vanilla. I should have probably melted the butter. I don't know what I was thinking. Now we have to mix it slowly. He used about 22 grams chocolate chips, so I'll use like 11, I guess. Or 12. He claims it's 80 calories and 6 grams of protein. I don't know how he came up with that unless he's only eating like, I don't even know. So if he used that much protein powder and for only one serving to be 6 grams of protein, he's got to be eating like a fourth of it, I'm guessing. I put it in this because it's just a little more 
appealing, I guess. This whole thing is 490 calories and 31.8 grams of protein. But like I said, I don't have low calorie sugar, Splenda, or low calorie like brown sugar. So just be aware of that. I guess let's try it. I'm also a bit nervous. Like there's a raw egg in here. Like, isn't that bad for you? Like I've seen people on TikTok just like chug liquid eggs, raw eggs in egg whites, things like that. It's kind of bad for you. But so is regular raw cookie dough. We all eat that, so. <laughs> different. I don't know what I'm tasting in it. It's not bad. I don't know how to describe it. It kind of tastes like like how you make brownies, but it feels like sugar brownies. It tastes like the batter, you know? Because you put the brownies in the oven and then in like the measuring cup that the brownie batter was in, you like take a spatula and eat it. That's what this tastes like, but for like sugar brownies or sugar cookies. I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10. Like it's not bad, but for the calories, I don't think it's really worth it. And like, it kind of just tastes funny. And it's probably not healthy for you, the egg, and if you don't heat treat the flour, which I didn't because I'm a little lazy. I wouldn't make it again, that's for sure. Hello everyone, another day of trying healthy TikTok dessert recipes. Today we're going to be trying protein brownie batter. I love when I eat brownie batter. So like I make the brownies in a bowl and then I transfer the like batter or whatever from the bowl into the pan to put into the oven and then I lick the spatula and like everything that was in the bowl because brownie batter is so good just like how raw cookie dough is better than cookie dough when it's cooked like into cookies brownie batter is better when it's just like raw and not cooked into brownies all right let's go ahead and make it we have handy dandy scale i'm also going to split into his recipe in half like i always do protein powder pb2 cocoa powder sugar-free syrup almond milk and chocolate chips this one she doesn't talk at all it's just music so one scoop of protein powder for me, that'll be half a scoop for about 13 grams. Next is PB2. She did one tablespoon, so I do half a tablespoon, which is about three and a half, so I'll say four grams. Next is cocoa powder. She uses one tablespoon, so I'm gonna use half a tablespoon, which is about three grams. We also add a pinch of salt. She uses one tablespoon of maple syrup, so I'm gonna use half a tablespoon of syrup, which is about seven grams. She uses one tablespoon of almond milk, so whoa. I did way too much. I was supposed to use seven grams. I did like 12. Now mix it. This is not forming anything. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. The consistency a bit off. Probably because of my syrup. I guess we'll add a little more. If this doesn't work, we can always add almond milk more. Now you just add some chocolate chips. I'm gonna add about five grams. Oh gosh. Or I guess eight. All right, this is what it looks like. That's the consistency. It kind of looks good. At the same time, it kind of looks gross. <laughs> this is 120 calories and 11.9 grams of protein. So I think that's pretty good for this. I guess let's try it. Kind of good. I wouldn't say it's just like brownie batter, but it's definitely very similar. I probably wouldn't make it again unless I have like a really bad sweet tooth and I wanted to curb it with something that's not super high calorie. I would say an eight out of 10. I don't think anything's gonna be able to top the puppy chow, which was what we tried first. So I'm definitely gonna eat all this right now. But yeah, pretty good. I totally forgot to intro this, but I also wanted to try Lexi Hirad's protein ice cream recipe. We got almond milk, banana, protein powder, and xanthan gum. First is 250 milliliters of almond milk, so I'm doing 125. Next is 100 grams of a frozen banana. This is 50. Next is a scoop of protein powder, so I did half a scoop, which is about 12 grams. Next is like a teaspoon of xanthan gum, so I'm going to do a little bit less than that because this is the like thickening agent. That should be good, hopefully. And then as you blend it, you add in about 300 grams of ice, so I'll do 150. Now seriously, like magic. I mean, it's a xanthan gum and ice, but I haven't tried it yet. I haven't licked the spoon yet because I stirred a lot. Look at this consistency. It's like foam. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so cool. So this is 109 calories and 9.5 grams of protein. I think that's amazing for like how much volume this is. Like, look at this. All right, let's try it. It looks like a cloud. <gasps> this is good. It's literally just like foam. It's like eating air, like a cloud, literally. 
honestly I give it like a 10 out of 10. This is so like fascinating that's why I give it a 10, 10 out of 10 and I'm probably actually gonna make this like a lot especially when I go into my next calorie deficit or cut I would definitely use this because it's a lot of volume and has a little bit of protein and it's like 100 calories which is like nothing basically i definitely like the puppy chow more than this but i think i rated the puppy chow like 9 out of 10 so puppy chow is 10 out of 10 and this is also 10 out of 10 but like this comes second puppy chow is first because it's like food and it's good but this is low calorie and puppy chow is like really high calorie so pick and you choose if you want high calorie puppy chow low calorie pick this so good though <laughs> all right see you guys tomorrow i really wanted to try dorothy fit that's her handle on like tiktok and instagram and youtube and stuff like that but i really wanted to try her baked oats because they look amazing but i realized that i need protein cookie butter but i don't have it but i looked up on tiktok protein baked oats and i found this and it had a lot of good comments so i guess let's go ahead and try this All right, I'm not gonna split this recipe in half. Preheat oven to 350. Half cup, which is about 54 grams. One tablespoon, which is about 15. Half a banana, 69 grams. It says half to one scoop, so I'll do 18 grams. Two teaspoons, about six grams. An egg, one fourth cup, which is about 61 grams. A little salt, cinnamon, extract. One fourth teaspoon baking powder. And now we're gonna mix it. This is my smallest like oven safe dish. This is gonna fill like none of it up. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. We're gonna add a lot of chocolate chips. I'm not counting grams, so I have no idea. I'd say about 10 grams, maybe, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful creation. It smells so good. Honestly, I'm stoked to try this. Like it smells so good. This is 503 calories and 30 grams of protein, which I think is good. I don't wanna burn myself. Oh, hot. Kinda just tastes like banana bread. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna eat it because I don't want to waste it and because I'm hungry. But I don't think I'd make it again. It's not as good as I thought it would be. Something that I could do is just add some like vanilla Greek yogurt on top. But what I think I'm gonna do is add peanut butter and Nutella on top. Maybe a Greek yogurt too. We'll see. But rating it as is, I'd say 7 out of 10. Probably would have made it again, but it's not like bad. It's just not my, my type, you know? Now that it's drenched in Nutella with a little bit of peanut butter and vanilla Greek yogurt on the side, I'll probably like it 10 times more. We shall try. <laughs> Something about Nutella is so good. Now this, I could eat probably like every other day. Not every day, every other. Obviously this is gonna add some calories, but Nutella is well worth it. Mm -hmm. Now this, I would rate a 9.5 out of 10. I'm gonna go devour this, bye guys. All right, so coming here with the final ratings, I don't think I really ever rated the puppy chow, but I give it a 10 out of 10. Day two was the cookie dough. I gave that a seven out of 10. Day three was the cookie or like the brownie batter. I gave that an eight out of 10. And then that same day, I also did like the smoothie foam cream stuff. I gave that a 10 out of 10, which I'm gonna have to deduct a few points. I don't know what it was, but after I had that, first of all, I couldn't even finish the full thing. At first I thought I really did think it was a 10 out of 10. Like it was amazing. But then having more of it and more i was like dude i'm getting a stomach ache and honestly i think it's from the xanthan gum xanthan gum you shouldn't have a lot of it first of all so i don't know if i put too much of it in there it just like hurt my stomach and it's not good for your gut either so i don't know if that played a role into it or what but i'm gonna have to give that an 8 out of 10 and then the last recipe was the oats i said a 7 out of 10 unless you add nutella and yogurt then i give it a 9.5 out of 10 my favorite is obviously the puppy chow but is higher calories so if you want a higher calorie snack that's still really really good and has protein in it definitely pick the puppy chow but if you're like in a cut or calorie deficit and want something that's super low calorie and a lot of volume then pick like the smoothie foam cream whatever that is but if you want to actually like eat something definitely pick the brownie batter i made that already this week again and i just think it's good and it was i don't know like 100 calories i think 120 something like that i'm definitely gonna make the puppy chow again it just takes a little bit more work than all the other things anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i love you guys so much i'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys.